Welcome back to Sports Extra. Time now for a very, very special segment, a very exclusive coming to you from the platform of Sports Extra. Who is this gentleman? What he's achieved and what we're talking about? Let's watch this report and then I'll introduce him. Crown Mr. Australia 2020 and Mr. NSW 2020 by the International Federation of Bodybuilding. Hasnan Wali Karimi has become an inspiration for all the youngsters who want to get into the exciting world of bodybuilding and fitness. Hasnan won four gold medals and two silver medals in the bodybuilding competition organized by International Federation of Bodybuilding in Sydney in 2020. His win was also acknowledged by the Consul General of Pakistan in Sydney. Hasnan has achieved medals in various categories including under 70 kg category, novice bodybuilding category and classic bodybuilding category. Hailing from an average Pakistani family from Karachi with no relations to sports, Hasnan's passion for fitness and bodybuilding has allowed him to remain determined on his journey. In 2015, he studied at the Australian Institute of Fitness and has a master's certification. He is also a certified strength and conditioning coach. Other than this, he has also studied business management and accounting from Australia. With a goal to pursue his fitness journey and inspire more people to look after their health, Hasnan aims to become one of the best strength and conditioning coach. There you have it, all you need to know about the champ and of course you saw some of those fantastic pictures but now he's joining us in studios. Very lucky to be joined by Mr. Hasnan Wali Karimi. Assalamu alaikum Hasnan. How are you? Thank, thank you, you so much. Me. Thank you for coming on the show. It's a pleasure and an honor to have you. I mean, uh, I was studying a bit about you and the journey. Uh, it's very interesting. I think uh, 2011, first time hitting a gym and uh, the main factor being that uh, uh, you're very skinny, about very 56 skinny. or 50, 53, 53 yes. kgs. And the goal was to look more, more confident, more, you know, more of a good physique. So talk us through. Yes, everyone started from somewhere. And then when I moved to Australia, I found out that people here, everyone is like uh, fitness fanatics. Mm -hmm. And for them, it's, it's kind of a lifestyle. It's not a luxury. And I, I asked myself a question. I'm here to just spend my life or I'm here to live my life? Mm. So the answer was the second. And based on that, I just planned and I started my fitness. First few years was just, you know, yes and no here and there, <laughs> just doing everything, watching YouTube videos, no proper guidance. Then I got serious. I had a coach help me through all the way. 2014, I think, I got a little bit more serious. Mm -hmm. That's where I finished my education. Mm -hmm. And uh, 2016, I planned to compete. So 2018, I did my first show and I won five silver medals and a gold. And then 2019, I didn't compete because I wanted to work on my weaknesses. 2020, Mr. Australia. Mr. Australia and then Mr. New South Wales as well. Yes. So interesting journey, but I, I mean, uh, I, I like the fact that you mentioned that it's a complete lifestyle for them. I mean, growing up in our part of the world, it's completely different with what we've had. I mean, food, uh, the routines are messed up. You know, there are a lot of things. Fitness, like you mentioned, is just a luxury for people who can either afford it or have all the time in the world with a settled family background or a business. So, I mean, that drastic change of mindset, how, how do you see that difference, you know, from this part of the world to there, where it's a complete shift? Look, there's plus and minus. When I was there, people say, oh, because he's in Australia, he's got everything. Mm. Uh, I didn't have a maid. I didn't have a mother. She can wake me up five in the morning and have my protein shake ready for me. Yeah. So there's plus and minus. Mm -hmm. In Pakistan these days, because I've been here for the last four weeks, I've noticed that the tradition and the, the revolution is there. People mm -hmm. are taking health and fitness seriously. There's a lot of gyms in Islam. Yeah, especially in after COVID now. Yeah. Uh, COVID actually yeah. shook. Yeah. Uh, it was a... It was a game changer for many mm -hmm. people because they realize that if we don't move, what happened? Mm -hmm. So it's a complete shift for me uh, from Pakistan to Australia. But like I said, there's plus and minuses. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, we have better machines there. Yes, we have better nutrition there. Yes, we have better water, environment, infrastructure, everything. But there's a lot of things we don't have there is uh, time because mm -hmm. you need to work. All my journey was through education. Mm -hmm. I was a student when I started, then I got engaged then I got married. I've got two beautiful kids and a beautiful wife, so I've got a, a, a complete mm. family. So no excuses. <laughs> People say, oh, because I'm an international student, I can't go to gym, I can't look after myself. When they get engaged, oh, sorry, I'm in a relationship, I need to give her more time, yeah. or him more time. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, 
I, I need to get married, so I need to save up something. So yeah. there's always something in your life. Mm -hmm. It's you. You need to find out that where you fit and set your priority. Yeah, priority should be right there. Uh, how important is guidance like you mentioned? Because uh, in our part of the world, we see people getting buffed up, going to the gym, yeah. spending two, three hours on a daily basis, going through a rigorous diet routine as well. But I mean, it's it's problematic because uh, I can personally tell you that, you know, you, you tend to miss out the direction. You're going in a wrong direction. See, in my dictionary, if you don't have a coach, mentor, mm -hmm. you're orphan. You need a coach. Because without a coach, without a mentor, you liking you know you like a like a driver who's driving around Islamabad, for example, mm -hmm. and you don't know your destination. You're just gonna burn out all the fuels and mm -hmm. end up being nowhere. Mm -hmm. So that's so important. That's very important. So now, considering that for the past four weeks, like you mentioned, that there is determination, there is a wake-up call now in Pakistan. Uh, how have you seen the structure now? Do you think uh, it's improving as compared to where we were uh, many years back, considering the focus? Uh, the lack of awareness and the lack of coaching and you know, I know it, it's still far off from Australia, but still. Yes, definitely. Uh, I was here in 20, 2019 mm -hmm. and the culture definitely is improved. Even the Pakistan Sport Board, I was privileged to meet them mm -hmm. and their plans looks like definitely there's a lot for the young talent mm -hmm. and inshallah look for the best. 100% the culture is changing, people are taking health and fitness more serious, there's more bodybuilding shows, there's different kind of other strength and conditioning things going on in the market. There's a lot of group classes, there's a lot of trainers offering yoga, the other things. Yes, it's definitely improving. It is improving. Uh, it's complete science itself, isn't it? Because I, I understand that everybody would want to be as buffed up or you know, getting as fit as you saw Karimi and his pictures uh, that, that are there on your screens right now. But everybody's different. Everybody reacts differently to what yes, you're Yes, everybody is different. And I don't tell everyone to be that. the one on their screen <laughs> because it's very hard. I chose because I had no, no option. Mm -hmm. And uh, first thing, first priority should be to impress yourself mm -hmm. and be at a certain level where you consider yourself fit. Mm -hmm. And then if you are crazy enough, to challenge yourself. <laughs> you, can, you can get there. So 2018, first time competing. And then, like you said, 19, you took a break to work yes. on your weaknesses, weaknesses. And then 20, crowned Mr. Australia, Mr. New South Wales as well. Uh, level of competition. How was it there? 2018 was, was uh, easy mm -hmm. because I had nothing to lose because my first comp. So I said, you know what? Let's see whatever happens. Mm -hmm. uh, and 2020 was hard because I, I won in two categories. Under 70 kilograms mm -hmm. and a novice bodybuilding. So novice bodybuilding, we had everyone from 70, 80, 90 and above. To all categories, yeah. All the weight categories. Mm -hmm. That was the hardest. And that when I won that one, I, I was like over the moon because mm -hmm. that was the hardest. Because I was the smallest guy in the middle. But because of the conditioning, definition, presentation, there's a lot of variables. Mm -hmm. And alhamdulillah, that one was the, the hardest. So 2019, like you said, you had to work on a couple of weaknesses. Where did you find that you were lacking? Which, which area did you want to work on the most I had, after your experience of 2018? Yeah, I had small, uh, small calves, mm -hmm. small calves, yeah. uh, upper chest. Mm -hmm. Also, I had weak glutes. Uh, so because they, have, they contain a lot of, a lot of uh, marks. Mm -hmm. Plus, I would say muscle quality. It's not just six packs. They, they're going for the quality the maturity of the muscle, the mm -hmm. conditioning of the muscle, the shape, the size, dimensions, proportions, it's just too much. <laughs> so when I had a chat with my coach, I want to compete, he says, look, right now you, you qualify for that, but there's no guarantee you're going to win. Mm -hmm. You probably end up top five. I said, no, I don't want that. He says, just wait. So off season is all about. That's what I want to tell people. If mm -hmm. they compete, keep competing, they're not going to progress. Mm -hmm. Whenever you want to achieve something in life, especially other sports or even education, take off season, work on your weaknesses and come back mm -hmm. very strong. So, you know, keep on working silently and then let the results speak for themselves. Yes. I think that is the goal that you need to really, really work on. Uh, considering uh, your future, uh, what are the plans now going into the future? And, uh, you know, uh, what's the goal right now? The goal is to inspire many people as possible. Definitely work on my health as well, because I've achieved mm -hmm. one of the biggest titles in Australia, if possible. If I get good sponsorship, I would consider doing world championship, but I don't see in a couple of years because, excuse me, because I have injured my knee mm -hmm. before the comp and not many people know about it. So you were competing while injured? It's not injury, it was just don't do this, otherwise you're going to get injured. Mm. 
but I was, I was lucky to find someone. He was a Chinese herbal medicines. So they look after my knee and I was able to compete. But right now I, I feel that I need break. I need to give myself mm. time. I need to give uh, my kids and my wife priority. Mm. And inshallah, definitely I'm gonna do compete again. Even if I don't compete, I'll still be training hard, inspiring people. Also we do uh, online coaching mm -hmm. and this is what I do for work. And uh, so Simple. for people who want to get in touch with you, what, yeah, what it's, would be? It's, it's, I'm wearing my t-shirt anyway. Yeah. <laughs> it's called Nashad's own personal training. You can mm -hmm. go Instagram, Facebook, Google, mm -hmm. and we help everyone around the world. Does, regardless of your goal, fat loss, mm -hmm. whether you want to gain muscle or you want to compete for the comp, anything. Mm -hmm. As long as you're healthy. <laughs> as long as you're determined, I think. Yes. That's, that's the main goal. Uh, but uh, thank you so much, Asnan, for joining us. You've been an inspiration. Thank and you. Uh, keep up the good work. The future definitely is there. And... Uh, uh, if you keep on, uh, I think, uh, you know, if you stay determined and like he mentions that there is an importance of uh, having time off as well at the same time. So learn to balance that routine as well. But thank you so much for being on the show. Pleasure. It's been great having you and it's an inspiration. And I truly hope that all of you who want to get in touch with him, the platform is there. Nashad Zone is there. You can get in touch with him on the social media platforms. And who knows, maybe he might be your coach for the next competition. You never know. But that would be there. But thank you so much for joining us once again. That's all we have time for. Uh, you can catch us tomorrow once again on the same time from me and the entire team. It's goodbye for now.